Hi everyone, it's me, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so MIA lately. I've just got a lot going on, super busy. Mom life, of course, just working and stuff. And um, recently I became a volleyball coach. So some of my time has been spent doing that Mondays and Wednesdays and Saturdays. So that's been a lot of fun, but I am totally ready to get back into the swing of things and start DIYing a lot more, a bunch of crafts and such. Um, for this video, I have some really pretty and fun spring DIYs to share with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. For my first project, I'm going to be using this house-shaped uh, wooden frame from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start by prying the back away from the frame, like so. Super easy to do. You don't need any other tools. Just use your hand and a little bit of pressure. And then I'm just removing the excess paper that was already coming off by me, you know, separating each of the pieces. But I am going to be using the back side of that little house shape. So I just removed this sticker very carefully. And that is the part I'm going to be doing all of my work on. And then I am just taking some sandpaper and just kind of sanding down the frame part just to remove the excess paper that's kind of in the way and kind of ripped off a little funny. So just want to smooth that down. And then I am taking my cutting mat and then a thick white piece of cardstock. And I'm going to line up the back of that frame onto the cardstock and use my X-Acto knife to make those cuts just going along the frame. And then really simple and easy, I'm just going to take a regular glue stick and I'm just going to cover that part 100% with the glue I don't want any dry spots because then it's going to dry really funny like the cardstock and once I have it covered I'm just applying that cardstock down into place and then I'm using my brayer tool to kind of smooth out bubbles <laughs> bubbles <laughs> bubbles and ripples um, and, but it's totally not necessary you can totally just use your hand if you don't have the brayer tool next I am taking this little pre-cut vinyl piece from Target dollar spot it says hello spring and I did decide to cut off the little flower piece that was on the design because I wanted it to fit completely in the middle of the frame rather than some parts of the design being cut off by the frame when I glue it back into place so I cut the flower piece off and then I am using some um, transfer tape and just transferring that design to my workspace and once I have the vinyl part into place I am I'm just taking some hot glue and I'm going to be gluing that frame back into place and as you can see I kind of glued it a little off-centered you can see some of the white part coming through the back but that's totally okay I'm just going to sand it down later on and it will be like as if it never even happened <laughs> my second to last step was to just take some leftover flower pieces and just kind of bunch them together I have some purple flowers yellow flowers you know celosia and whatnot and I'm just bunching them up and then I'm gluing them into that empty space right there at the top and then my last step was taking some jute twine and I'm just making a really quick and simple easy bow to glue right at the end of the bunch of flowers just to kind of hide those glue marks and that was it here is how uh, this little hello spring sign turned out i think it's so adorable screams spring to me you know i love the kind of like neutral vibes it's got going on but like a little bit of pop of color and i really love the way the natural wood looks on that frame um you guys can totally paint it or stain it if you want but i really liked the way that the natural wood looked but yeah let me know what you think of that one down below and let's get on to the second project for this one, I'm using this really pretty kitchen towel. It says bloom where you are planted. I love the stripes. I love the color and I love that little like frayed look on the front there. So I just started by opening up the towel and I'm going to fold it in onto itself. And then I'm just going to start by gluing down each of the edges with some hot glue. I'm just going a little at a time just because I want to make sure I can stretch it and smooth everything out so it has some nice seams once I turn it right side out so I glued the bottom and then I'm gluing one of the sides and then for the third side I'm only going to glue that halfway so that way I can turn it right side out and leave a little opening for me to fluff it with some fluff stuff it with some fluff what is the I don't know anyways <laughs> glue it up and then turn it right side out like so we have some really nice um, seams going on and then I am just taking my little fluff and I'm just going to fluff and stuff and stuff and fluff and fluff and fluff, fluff until I am happy with the size of the fluff. <laughs> Once I am happy with the, you know, how stuffed it is, I'm just going to glue that little spot up and I'm going to try to make it look 
just as if we glued everything together and I didn't leave that little opening so I kind of have to glue those pieces in onto itself um, and then just kind of pull as you go let the glue dry and then move on to the next spot you can probably going to need your um, little finger protectors and whatnot to kind of push in the last little piece but yeah super simple and easy to do so uh, once it's glued up you're just going to give it a, a little quick beating a couple smacks here and there to kind of even out that fluff in there and there you go you have a cute little decorative pillow to throw on your bed, your couch, a little side chair type of thing, love seat. Um, and again, I think it is so, so cute. The stripes are like totally vibing with me right now. I love it. And I love that frayed look. Um, all right, on to the third and last project for this video. I'm going to be using this um, really pretty placemat. I almost called it a frame. <laughs> I'm going to kind of turn it into a frame-like thing, but placemat from Dollar Tree. They only had one of these, and I'm kind of bummed. I wish I would have found more, but one is good enough for me because I made a really pretty sign out of it. So I'm just starting by placing the placemat onto my cutting mat, and I'm going to be cutting off the edges, kind of cutting off the curved parts of the placemat so everything each of the sides are just nice and straight and I decided to make my cuts at the beginning of the little saying and then at the end of the little saying like right where the words begin and then end and afterwards I'm just going to be taking these five gallon stir sticks and I'm only going to be using two and I don't know what it is about these stir sticks but the color was so so pretty to me so I left them as is um, but you guys can totally stain yours or paint yours whatever color you feel like but I don't know what it is they have this really just like pretty natural vibe going on usually they're like a more yellowish color I don't know how to explain it but I loved the coloring on these ones so I definitely left them the way that they are and I just had to go and kind of get some measurements I just kind of eyeballed it to see like what was aesthetically pleasing to my eye like how much I wanted the paint stir stick to hang off of the placemat and I think I measured at one and a quarter inches and I kind of regret that though they kind of stick out a little bit too far for me so I would say maybe make yours about one inch or maybe a little less than that and this is just kind of the style that I was going for you can make it totally even with the placement if you want or have it hanging off even more if you wanted to do what is aesthetically pleasing to you so I made my marks and then I'm taking my cutting mat again and a razor blade and I'm just making some really deep cuts until I am able to kind of pry it back and forth where I made those cuts and it just pops away from one another um, you just cut off the excess and then take some sandpaper and kind of you know smooth down the edges and of course I did that to both of them and then I'm going to be using my E6000 and hot glue. Of course, hot glue is a, you know, quicker set and faster adhere. And then the E6000 is a longer, stronger bond. So that is why I use both of them together. I did want this to be set really, really fast. So that's why I use the hot glue. And then I want it to last a long time. So I use the E6000. So I'm gluing the one stir stick at the top. And then I'm going to be gluing the other one at the bottom and make sure I'm lining them up so that way they are nice and even and um, symmetrical to one another. And once I had the stir sticks down into place, I just flipped it over and then I took a couple of large or jumbo craft sticks and I'm just gluing those down right onto the top and bottom parts, kind of where the placemat and the wood meet, just to really enforce the stability of this project, I guess. Should be pretty good with the E6000 and stuff, you know, but just in case you never know <laughs> anyways my last little step was to take some jute twine and some of my wooden beads and make a really pretty hanger to go on the top I thought this would just bring everything together and kind of complete the look that I was going for you guys don't have to add the beaded hanger you can totally leave it as is and maybe add like a sawtooth hanger on the back totally your choice so I just strung on those beads until I was happy with the length and then I glued them down into place and trimmed off the excess pieces and boom bada bing here we have it we are all finished simple as that and I think it is so adorable make memories along the way and it has a really pretty farmhouse truck with some florals in the back 
stunning and again look at the wood color on those stir sticks like i don't know i've never seen anything like it my stir sticks never look like that so i was really happy that i found um stir sticks that had a really pretty like natural wood tone to it <laughs> i know i'm weird i get it anyways guys that is all i have for you guys thanks so much for stopping by and being amazing subscribers and fans i will see you guys next time